Hey guys, what's up? I say guys like every time I do this and I realize that like there's like two people that watch these videos which is Kay and my boyfriend. Um, but that's okay because today, to debut my beautiful new microphone, we are doing a commission for that very same Kay. Uh, so I'm drawing a character that I believe is Kay's husband's D&D character whose name is Chairbringer. He is a goblin and he is really funny to me. He fights with a chair that's like the same size as him. And I mean, who doesn't think that's hilarious? Am I right? So we're gonna do the sketch. It goes pretty fast here on this one. Um, this is an hourly, so everything that's here was drawn in an hour. Um, so the sketch didn't really take too long. And it's funny because after I did this, I showed it to my boyfriend and he was like, Hey, I think some parts of this look weird. You should flip your canvas. And uh, I was like, flip my canvas? What's that? So we kind of spent like 10,000 years going over it, um, like doing like little edits. And like I figured out a couple things that were wrong and it was really great. Um, but unfortunately this was already recorded and everything. So I am not going to be editing this drawing this time. I hardly ever go back and edit drawings once they're done. It's like, ah! Okay, that's done. I guess that's how it works. Um, and now we're getting into line art stuff on this. Line art is my favorite part. I love doing lines. It's so good. Um, okay, so I said earlier this is like the funniest D&D character. I love D&D characters. I adore them. Uh, like everybody is like so creative with like the characters they come up with and who they play. I play D D a lot, like every week, soon to be twice a week. I also listen to like several D D podcasts and like, you know, a live play type like YouTube shows and stuff like that. Um I'm a big old D D nerd. I think playing goblins is awesome. People don't play goblins enough and I know it's like a homebrew, you can't there's not really like actual stats for like player stats for goblins. But there's just something about people that play goblins. It's very good. Um, I have been wanting to make a goblin character for a while, and I think I'm going to have to do it. My current character is a gnome, uh, a gnome ranger. And I chose that before I knew that uh, rangers are actually really shitty. They're like the shittiest class in all of D&D. So he's actually about to as soon as he levels up which is going to be soon um i'm about to take a level of bard which i'm really excited about he already basically is a bard he like does everything but the music part he's like a little ball of charisma and i love him uh okay talking about this drawing in particular um armor sucks huh <laughs> i hate drawing like a bunch of pieces of armor and I think every time I've done commissions for Kay uh, several of her characters that are her husband's characters that she's had me draw he really likes like this cool complicated layered armor stuff so um, like thanks to him I'm actually like okay at drawing it I did not know how to do it at all before and uh, since I've been doing stuff for him I kind of like learned how to do some of it and figure some of it out. I missed some pieces on this one. There's more teeth on his glove on the other hand, I think. Um, I think both arms armors are actually symmetrical, but I couldn't really tell on the rough that I was using. And it wasn't until I went back later that I was like, oh, frick. Um, the armor's really fun, and it is fun to draw. It just looks so daunting when you start doing it. So I do end up kind of like BSing parts of it. The feet I had a little bit of a problem with. That was the part that um, my boyfriend and I went back over about is that like they're not uh, they're not planted very well. And in the um, in the sketch they looked okay to me, but if I had flipped it I would have probably noticed. The problem comes from I draw a lot of pinup art of like sexy women, <laughs> and when you do that you tend to always favor an arched back because that's just what looks hot when you draw it. 
um, for this, I wanted him crouching. So what I accidentally did was arched his back in a way that should not have been. So uh, instead of having his back like concave, I had it convex, I think is how you say that. So I fucked up. So just know, Kay, when you watch this video, I am aware that I fucked up. Uh, as well as I know that I fucked up on some things on the rev. Like, not everything's perfect. That's kind of part of what happens when I'm doing this fast. And it's timed is that, like, not everything gets to be exactly 100% on rev. So, if you are somebody watching this and you are like, Hey, I think it'd be really cool to get a commission that you make a video out of. Which totally down to do by the way just do know that if it's like a character that's complicated or a character that I've never seen before or have to learn uh, not everything's always gonna be like super perfect I am really proud though on this one of some of the shapes that I got and I did get a dynamic pose even if it's a little bit um, like off kilter but you know he was fun to draw because he's he's small so I had a lot of room to kind of like make him look cartoony, which is something that I'm, um, I'm like trying to practice. I was also really pleased with his face turned out pretty cartoony and goblin -y as well, which I had wanted to make sure of, and it happened. I am really late to this bandwagon, but I've also been playing a whole lot of Breath of the Wild. So when I was doing his armor, um, I was sort of taking some inspiration from Breath of the Wild, not like there was already a reference for the armor, but I kept like drawing parallels to it. Like, <laughs> like, oh, okay. This is like almost like something like a freaking Moblin would wear. I have to like say Breath of the Wild is the first Zelda game I've ever actually played um, since, oh, I'm dating myself. I haven't played a Zelda game since Link to the Past which has been a while. Uh, okay, so with the shading here, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I put that on multiply and I didn't really like it. So I tried a couple things and I actually ended up really liking when I did it as, I think you'll see me do it here in a second, when I did it as an overlay, um, a lot of the colors got just like real good. It added this nice like purplish red tone to the browns. And I ended up, yeah, right here, really enjoying that. Um, it like looks, it's like this very classic cartoon looking kind of style when you do it like that. The only problem is um, then you don't get any shading on the white bits because the overlay doesn't show up on those. So I did end up having to go in and like try to figure out how I wanted to do it. And I ended up just doing another multiply layer. Um, I favor a lot of multiply layer a lot of like overlay layers, special effects layers when I color. And I know that like that's like not everybody does that and and like it's legit to do that, but there's also definitely definitely something to be said for like understanding color theory enough that you can just do that stuff without, you know, doing like a effect layer. Um, nothing wrong with doing it either way. You know, use the tools you have. But, um, I wish sometimes I could come up with that stuff by myself instead of doing, like, special effects layers. But it ended up looking good, and in the end, that's actually all that matters when you're making art. Got a nice little drop shadow for him. It kind of makes him look like he's at least existing in the space, even if, uh, he's existing in the space kind of, um, off balance. Got some nice highlights in here. Making sure we know where our light source is. But even when you do know where your light source is, you do just kind of want to do what looks good. Clean up some stuff. And then I like to add some kind of rough hatching in the shading. Gives some things some texture. Which is nice and kind of creates some more interest in the actual shading itself. So it's not just like this boring flat cell shading. And some of it I hated. 
do what looks good. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Here he is in all of his chair-bringing glory. And uh, I need a cool catchphrase. Bye.